well, I always say that y'all essentially dope game royalty. And y'all been in, y'all y'all have seen the rise and fall of the dope game. So, what's the wildest shit y'all seen in the streets? Like, just out there hustling some crazy shit y'all seen, especially in Detroit. I ain't gonna say shit was wild. I ain't, you know what I mean? I, I can't really, I mean, I'd have heard some, and I'm gonna say this, I'm, I'm going back in the days when we talk about the best friends. Mm-hmm. Yo, I heard them motherfuckers was so vicious that if they coming for your ass, they coming no matter how they had to come. They dressing up like women. That shit, mm-hmm. I heard about that. That's, that shit true. Yeah. I yeah. mean, I know that's your, because it means you know, that's you, you fucking with the chambers and, and, and shit. Yeah, the, them boys were, uh, them boys were very effective at what they did. And I said this before on, uh, when uh, Terrence Gangster Williams uh, interviewed me. Mm-hmm. Right. So yeah, now, so- I got, I got, a, I got, a, I got a, uh, I got a hood fun fact you. So, are you familiar with best friends? Best friends. Yeah. Okay, you talking eighties now? You talking mid eighties somewhere up in there? At the time, I'm just jumping off the porch, right? I don't know if your audience familiar with a uh, notorious group out of Detroit, but from through the, uh, Arkansas, B- Bill Clinton even mentioned these boys' name before. They called the Chambers Brothers. I was working at the time for Larry Chambers, just jumping off the porch. And at that time, back in the 80s, I don't know if I can be cussing like this on your channel, no, no. but I'm I'm serious, bro. People got on. Best friends were so terrifying. Back around that time, they had Volvos with the little chrome at the bottom of the door that said Volvo on it. Uh-huh. Other guys and other crews would be driving. They'd pull up on them and tell them, you can't drive no Volvo. Only best friends drive both. Dudes was parking them cars in the back. What? They wouldn't drive them no more. So you tell me, Rock and Reggie, the one who I interviewed, the legend, they was put up on people. They ain't just coming to get you, they hunt. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. So um, that um back in the day, and that's where the rappers got it from. When they yell out they, you know, they record label and all that, they got that from the streets. When you enter into a comp- uh, confrontation with someone, you always yelled out your crew. That was the day of the crew before the whole Rico thing started coming in. So Back in the day, you get ready to bang with somebody. Now, this is in Detroit because we weren't really into our generation wasn't into gang banging. The generation before were gang bangers, but after that, Detroit was all about getting money. Mm-hmm. If you was beefing or or fighting with somebody, it was about getting money. So you yelled out your crew, and if and there used to be some fake niggas out there that would yell out best friends. I don't give a I don't give a fuck who was getting ready to bang with you. That shit stopped as soon as you said that. Niggas got the hell on. And a lot of times niggas got niggas up off their ass by yelling, best friends. <laughs> niggas <laughs> like shit. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. So you want some dope. <laughs> yeah, see that 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 them and what was it? The the friends, the curries and the chambers. Well right. the curries were you had your YBI. Yeah, why you had your pony down and all that. Pony down, okay, yeah. So you ended up with your curries. Your curries were fading out as your chambers and other drug gangs was coming into power. Even though they were there, but they were waning at oh, that point. Okay. Because right over on, um, I stayed on Hampshire. White boy Rick stayed on the other side of Dickinson on Hampshire. Mayor Coleman Young's niece stayed on, I think that was Everston. Mm-hmm. So on Everston, you had Benzes parked on uh, both sides of Ever- Ever- Everston, on both sides of the street, mm-hmm. with the BBS rims and so on mm-hmm. and so forth. Mm-hmm. And this was before, I believe, Rick started smashing, you know, uh, I think it was Johnny Curry. I think that was the one that was going with uh, with uh, Mayor Coleman Young's niece mm-hmm. at the time. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, but you know, Rick, everybody look at Rick, and I think the phenomenon is basically that he was a white boy, but Rick on the run was maybe a year. But Rick had a lot of protection. It was another motherfucker out there that was just as effective as the friends, 
and struck even as much fear as much or maybe more. Clifford Jones. That's the name I couldn't remember. Clifford, Clifford Jones. Jones. I couldn't Cliff, remember that Cliff, name. Yeah. Clifford Jones had niggas terrified. And Cliff protected Rick. Mm. So that's why a lot of niggas didn't go really do nothing to Rick. Didn't because of Cliff. Yeah, I, I remember that name. Yeah, because of Cliff. Didn't nobody want to see Cliff. You didn't want, didn't nobody. Cliff was, Cliff was a problem. By itself. No, he had a crew. No. He had a crew. Okay, see, see, I, didn't, I, I, I remember that name. I heard about him uh, going up in one dude's joint, whooping a nigga and robbing him. Left his pager there, called the nigga. The nigga called back. He told the nigga who he was. He about to come pick us. <laughs> <laughs> told nigga bring his page out to him, and he better not say nothing. That nigga brought the nigga page out. <laughs> but that's how vicious dude was. Damn, for real, for real. This wasn't no, you know. And he called around like, "Hey man, what's going on?" Um, the people told me to come see you. Mm. Huh? Yeah, them people told me to come see you, and uh, you know, uh, hey. I mean, but I mean, something could be worked out. <laughs> and the nigga be like, uh, well, uh, hey, uh, well, I'm going to pay you something for them. Well, shit, they give me this. What you going to give me? Uh, he'll call around and collect money, allegedly. Mm. Collect money on one dude head he got to smash and had two, three niggas paying for that same nigga he got to hit anyway. Damn. So back then, the 80s was just something different, man. The 80s was something different. I, and I mean, in Detroit, I tell guys all the time. If you want to get a sense, especially young people, if you want to get a sense of what Detroit was like in the 80s, look at The Wire. Yeah, and you know, man, you was in Baltimore. Yeah, yeah, that shit up there real to yeah. But that's the closest that you'll get to get an understanding yeah. of what the 80s in Detroit was like. Like, uh, I think it was a guy named Omar. Omar, yeah. Omar would be like your Clifford Jones. Yeah, 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 yeah. But time, Clifford like times 10, though. Yeah, see, and then that's why we get along. See, I, in the joint, that's why I got along with good with Baltimore motherfuckers. That's what, that, that's, that's really, yeah. that's the next thing to me. Yeah. That man was close and to the, and, the, and them boys in Baltimore, man, uh, you know, my pops from up there, but them boys in Baltimore, they go hard in the paint, boy. They ain't, they don't play. They ain't nothing to fuck with. Them D.C. boys ain't either. Mm -hmm. Them boys, uh, mm -hmm. they get down. They get down. But, oh, yeah, I, I didn't get a chance to say what I thought. Yeah, I, ain't, I got, well, back to what you said about I don't, ain't one shit crazy. I could, all that shit come with it. It was yeah. fun, man. Everything was fun. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was fucked up or not. Well, one of the things for me, and I did a video about it, I never put it up, that uh, you would be surprised. Niggas can't count. <laughs> oh. Niggas cannot count. You see, a lot of these hustle niggas out here, they do not know how to count. And I mean count. One, two, three, four. Yeah, count. Money. They do not know how to count. The hardest problem, he'll tell you, because he handled all the money. The hardest problem, because he would have to go back through and count damn near all the fucking money, because these dudes could not count. And then we had one dude, particular dude over in the house, he could count. He figured out who couldn't count, and then, you know, of course, uh, <laughs> being a chair of the person he is, he going to help them count their money. Yeah. <laughs> and they shit would always come up yeah. short yeah. because he yeah. cleaned them out. But this nigga bitch dressed to the nine with the money he's stealing. And look, get this nigga head cracked or something because he don't know how to count. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but, yeah. Yes, you can say that's wild. Yeah, that was, that was a really big problem. And you had a lot of guys out here. That I mean, making making serious money, you know how to hustle like a motherfucker, but could not count. And you would know because you would get their money, it would be over a lot of times. Yep. Oh, beyond then you would know. Okay, he don't know how to count, or his money would be all mixed up. You know, because your money got to be That's fives, fives, money, tens, yeah. tens, twenties, so on and so forth. But if he got money in there with eight tens is in there, fives and all weird play, that nigga can't count. Yeah, they, that don't mean they bad dudes. They just don't know how to count. And you get that a lot. You get that a lot. That was one of the biggest problems that we had. It's find niggas that could count. And then also, guys that you were putting on. Them not being able to count. You never think that, though. You never would. You never, you never would. And it's rampant. It's not an isolated incident. It's not an isolated incident. And then you find... 
with all these all these jokers, they can count up to so far. You'll catch your group of niggas. Now, now, hundred dollar bills, okay, of course, but different denominations. You'll catch your group of niggas that can count up to five hundred. That's it. So now, how they might count their money is five hundred at a time <laughs> and put it together like that. You catch very seldom. You catch somebody that can count up to a thousand straight through. But usually after a few hundred. And that shit was strapped because you got to put it when you're going to turn that money into them people. That, that's they want it a certain way. They want it bundled a certain way, uh, uh, wrapped a certain way. So you got to go through all these niggas' money and, and straighten it out like that to turn it in. So, no, you were right there. That is wild. You know, I, yeah.